ladies and gentlemen, we have a home, but how about we do a little renovation? Let's start the witch farm today, shall we? Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Soap the Great and I'm playing on the Too Crafty server. And we are over here by my nether portal and uh, I have done my due diligence. You know, I wasn't quite sure last episode whether this was already taken because it already showed signs of habitation. But uh, I checked on Skype, I checked with all the members and it just looks like it may have been visited on the early parts of exploration but uh, nobody has claimed this witch hut so I have moved in so we've brought some stuff over uh, I got some andesite that's gonna play in today's project um, But we are going to be working on the witch farm but before we get into that let me just show you kind of what what I've done as far as moving in you can see I've got the trees uh, just the different ones you know in uh, my last multiplayer season I went with the dark oak you see some of that right there and the spruce logs I'm gonna switch it up this time and I'm gonna work with the acacia in this base and the various color combinations associated with that but uh, just uh, real basic preparation here got some reeds going got um, an oak oak forest farm going and uh, yeah let's see some basic crops and uh, oh, another wart and then an auto smelter and that's busy working on some cobble I have not gotten around to doing any caving or mining in this area but that is soon to come because we do need resources and in fact it's kind of kind of ambitious taking on the witch farm at this point because I don't even have enough slime so that's going to be problematic but we'll take care of that for now what we need to do is find a better spot for this because we obviously can't be living in the witch hut if we want to farm the rightful residence. Instead we need to move elsewhere and uh, let's see, found a spot, oh and let's see with me on today has found it and he has not indicated that he wishes to sleep so we'll just go with that there is oh there's a hole over there but we've got a little cave entrance over here as well so what I'm probably gonna do is move in down here and uh, and then eventually we'll get to a regular home but for now oh, there he is he'll probably get me and there we go all right so we're going to get a starter home built over here and then we'll get started on the witch farm. So uh, next cut we should see a little more progress, maybe even the uh, platforms at least laid out. And uh, we'll go from there. See you in a bit. Alright ladies and gentlemen, we are back and I'm just going to pick up some resources here and let you see the mines that I have set up. Now. If you remember in the last jump cut, uh, just a short blip ago, but it represents a decent amount of work on my part. I have come down and cut a mine shaft in from that little hole that uh, that we took a look at um, in that last cut. Let me uh, grab some lava here as well and make sure that we don't have an accident. Nope, that would be bad. All right. So you can see as I was cutting this, I ended up finding a couple of caves. Um, that particular little area was a bit underwhelming, but uh, as I came through and cut these, I did find something pretty cool. You see that? I don't know if you can see that so well in the video, but that is a skeleton spawner. I've got it nice and lit up, but I'm going to be turning that into an XP grinder that is pretty close. We've got some more cave system around. This is good because we are under the witch hut and we need all these caves lit up eventually. So this is just to show you the little hole 
that we poked our head in, but I didn't drop in. I came in and it went to right about here. So, uh, so yeah, I've, I've just went on to the standard mining depth and I've cut, cut those, uh, cut those shafts into the walls and go about 128 in each direction. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna set up here. So let me, let me put away the diamonds. The, those, uh, those mine shafts have been pretty productive as far as resources go, but I want to make sure the diamonds go into the ender chest. And, um, I also want to hide a little bit. Maybe you saw a blip of it, but we want to just put this in. Um, and I want to preface this by saying, you know how some people, you'll, you'll watch them and they'll, they'll go away. They'll, they'll take a shortcut and then when they come back, it looks like they've gone ham on their projects. And then they make the glib comment and progress has been made. Well, ladies and gentlemen, progress has been made. Yep, that's right. It is no longer the little witch hut. We have gotten things a little more industrialized, shall we say. Yep. Uh, and I've already prepped for the next part of this video, but let's just take a look at some of the features. You can hear that there's a little baby zombie. I think that has to do with the same noises we heard down in that that hole there. There's a cave down here and I've dug around but I haven't quite hit it yet and uh, I've been really hoping to get an x-ray machine of some form but it looks like Moyang have fixed a number of those but let's take a look at what we've got here. Uh, if you have watched, I don't know, maybe you've watched, maybe you watch the same videos I do but this is the JL2579 version of the witch farm it has no spawnable space within five blocks of the main spawn floor and there are air blocks all around to maximize the overall efficiency of of that area because right from right here to right here all the way across so it's a seven by nine it's the spawning pads for for the witch hut um, and I've got one up there and one right there, so we should be good to go. I've I've run the test um, before I put in all the mechanisms, and we did get witch spawns on both platforms. And it was late at night since I don't have the full full roof on. But uh, but yeah, this is the JL2579 design. And I went back and forth as to which one I should try or which one I should do, and uh, it ended up being kind of kind of equal in terms of uh, the resource expenditure as to whether to do this one or some other shifting floor with the, uh, the hoppers and the sticky pistons and redstone blocks so ooh, scary noises uh, so I ended up going with this one I built this on my last multiplayer server and uh, you know now there, there were a couple of changes we had to make you, you may have seen the video from DocM. There's that fix for the three comparator side. I've done that. And then you may have seen my video as well. And we have to put in an actual fuel source. So I've got that in. But other than that, it's the same as on my previous multiplayer. Um, and another thing I wanted to make a note of were these two glass blocks. You see that on both sides? Let us pull up the uh, F3 screen. You can see the biome right there and we'll go here we're in swampland pop over this block right here is river this block is river swampland 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 okay you see and over here is river okay so that means the the witch hut is two blocks in to a river biome that was uh, that was right here and that means that witches will not spawn on those two blocks or at least that's the way that I have understood the overall spawning algorithm maybe something has changed in 1.8 but um, I'd rather be safe than sorry I don't want regular mobs in here we're just gonna make this witches only okay uh, the other thing is that you may notice kind of a, a missing chunk of land yep I have knocked all of that out originally the land came out to right around here and carried on that way 
and I just knocked it all out. So that took a couple of rounds on the pick. I've had to repair it, and now we're up to... It may not be repairable, actually. And, um, yeah, there we go. And one other note is that in the previous version, I went with a square on, on this thing. This is 24 from the spawn floor. So that's the... You have to be 24 away from the spawning platform for any mobs to spawn. So this is a 24 radius circle. I don't know if that's actually valid. I think it may be... Oh, hey. Dust. Hey, dust. Um, I don't know if it's a, a circle or a square. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's gonna, we're going to go with circles as the... Um, as the overall theme and I've got a plan for that for how we're going to incorporate all that in but I'm not going to tell you quite yet because I'm still finalizing some plans but uh, let me just give you a hint now um, I've got the render distance kind of high um, it's pretty all it's all right for for this computer right now so um, with the new vertical buffer objects in uh, the video settings and the multi-threading so we're doing all right on the computer um, but uh, you can see right over there that we've got a decent sized mountain in fact that's one of the things about amplified you get really beautiful terrain generation but it's a bit of a pain to remove if you're going for a perimeter <sighs> the rain Woohoo! Um, so I've decided I'm not going to focus on making a perimeter, like digging it out. Instead, we're going to just maybe get some collabs going, some races on lighting up the all the area, all the overworld space, and then starting to light up the caves. But I'm not going to clear out a 128, um, no, it's, it's 300 by 300, 300 by 300 square around this, this thing. Not going to do it. Nope. Not my idea of fun. And uh, instead, we're going to go with a high Y design. We'll go up to 180 or so and make sure that wherever I end up dropping the witches down here is uh, no more than 128 from where I'm standing because otherwise they'll despawn. But uh, we'll get that going. Not in this episode. We still got a little bit more work to do to get this thing to where it's mostly functional. And then we'll come back later in another episode and finish everything. But for now, let me make sure I've talked about everything. Oh, about the computer. So, you know, I've been saving up my my uh, nickels and dimes. I've been saying that. And uh, this past weekend, I'm recording this uh, just after the Labor Day weekend. That is a U.S. government holiday. And... Uh, I w there were a lot of sales, um, especially at Newegg. There was some decent sales, and I was getting ready to purchase on that uh, on that holiday. And um, well, last Saturday before Labor Day, Intel dropped their new chips onto the market, and that means that uh, we can look at possibly getting a better setup instead so I'm just gonna save my money a little bit longer just a little bit and we'll end up with a better chip and better memory and an overall uh, more expandable motherboard later on so anyway that's enough for now what we need to do is uh, I need to change that area up where the lights are um, I need to mess with the ceiling a little bit I'm gonna move that up just to make sure we have enough room for witches to spawn on the top and then we're gonna get a little time-lapse going I'm gonna bring my camera account on put him right up top there and we're gonna put a roof over this thing so get ready when we come back uh, I'm going to have some OK Soda by Signwriter going you may have heard that on some other videos but if you haven't it'll be your first introduction to it I quite enjoy the tune, and I quite enjoy what Signwriter puts out, so check them out. Link's in the description for that, but uh, sit back, relax, and enjoy. I'll see you in just a moment.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is it. We've got the roof there, and uh, our witch farm, at least part of it, is done. We still have some work to do. You notice there's no killing mechanism, there's no item collection, and there's no item sorting. But, uh, hey, we're pretty close, and and we're at the end of of our time for this episode. Don't worry, we will get back to the rest of this in uh, in just a moment but let me show you what I've done up top here okay so I put in just a basic switch I still need to do some some work on it. I'm getting a little bit of lag right now but that's all right so so yeah there's a switch and it turns it on or off and uh, as I said we're gonna be going up up there and that's why I put this switch up here because we're going to be carrying a signal from our platform all the way down to here but uh, that will be coming up in a later episode so don't you worry uh, let's let's get back down here I love how it glitches out to the side sometimes but that is it for this episode so Join us next time as, uh, well, you know what? I'm not going to tell you quite what we're going to do next time. We're not going to finish this up. We've got something else planned. And uh, we'll get back to this in a later time. I don't know whether I will keep keep you along for every step of the way or whether it'll just be like a world tour type deal. But, uh, yeah. So, hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, a like is always appreciated. But that is it for now, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.